Hi YouTubers, and today we're going to be discussing diamond core drilling. Now I had to make some holes in the annex I was converting, so I went and got this kit from Wellcut. I thought it was quite a well-priced kit, and I thought it had some expandability for hole sizes I'd probably use in the future. A picture of the kit's just up here. Now this kit comes with various size dry core drills. It's got a 38 millimeter, a 52, a 65, 117 and 127 dry core drills. In addition, we've got an 80 mil SDS adapter, a 250 mil SDS adapter, an 80 mil hex adapter and a 250 mil hex adapter. And we've also got the pilot drill that comes with this as well. Now you can buy these components individually from places like uh, Screwfix or Toolstation, but it's actually cheaper to buy them all together in this kit. And the thing that I just need to warn you is that you do actually need a specialist drill. You need a drill with a clutch because otherwise there's a risk of breaking your wrist. So this is not a sponsored video. I bought the kit with my own money. And I'd just like to ask you if you could leave a like if you enjoy the video, if you find it useful. One of the things I like about this set is the fact it's got a 127mm core drill in it. The hole I'm cutting at the moment, I need to get a wide hole, and the reason for that is I'm putting in a 100mm underground pipe, and that pipe's going in at an angle, and so I need to allow space for the angle, and that 17mm is just not enough to get the right angle that I need to get the pipe through the wall. This core drill bit was really easy to use. All I had to do was to screw the core drill onto the diamond core arbor and then push in the pilot drill. Once the hole has been created, it's just a case of removing the pilot drill and continuing with the diamond core drill. The drill I'm using is a D21570K and that's a special diamond core drill. This is a special two-speed drill. It's got an electric clutch on it, which is making it ideal for the purpose. So this will actually drill core drill bits up to 127 mil in bricks or soft masonry. And I'm really putting it to the maximum use at the moment. Now I purchased this kit in the lockdown and it was quite difficult to buy equipment at the time. There wasn't much availability. And with this kit, when it came, there was a couple of rusty components in it, which I wasn't very happy about. And I contacted the supplier, but the supplier wasn't really that helpful. They said they would offer me a discount, but they never applied it to the account. So that's one negative thing that you need to think about this. But actually, at the end of the day, the rust that was on there, it didn't really impact the work. You know, I was still able to create the holes and the tools are still going strong. So it's not really an issue. So this kit came in at $75.99 and I got it from UK Planet Tools. In addition to that, I actually bought an SDS core drill as well. Now I didn't have to, but the thing is that when you're doing SDS core drilling, there's a risk that the unit will get stuck and then the drill starts spinning. And if you don't have a clutch on it, you could actually break your wrist. Now, ironically, my SDS drill had actually failed at this time and I was looking for a new one. And what I did was I bought two drills together, but I think I could have got away with using my new SDS drill with a clutch. But anyway, I bought an SDS core drill, I bought this kit, and that makes it quite expensive because if you compare it to higher costs, I could have actually hired the set for the same amount of money. But on the other hand, I know that I need to create some more holes when I get to the plumbing stage. And so now I've got the opportunity to create the holes that I need to and then resell the kit at the end of doing the work. And hopefully I'll get some of the money back that I wouldn't have got if I'd have hired. So overall, I think it is worth buying this kit. So a couple of times I found that the core drill got stuck. And on other occasions, I had to keep retightening the chuck on the SDS drill. Now, because I don't have any experience with diamond core drilling, I don't know if this is something that needs doing uh, when, you, when you're actually creating this type of hole. But at the end of the day, I had a set budget that I was working to. I couldn't afford more expensive equipment. 
and I certainly got the hole I needed to to install my pipe through 10 centimeter thick concrete. So yeah, I'm happy with this purchase. I'm glad I made it and it's really been helpful for me. And I will be needing to create additional hole sizes as well when I start doing plumbing work. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please leave us a like below as it helps us to create the best content for you. If you'd like to get further updates from us, then please subscribe. Leave your comments below and tell us what you think about this video.